very rare in our busy lives when grandfathers, sons, and grandchildren can share a true moment of discovery. But on July 4th, 2021, just such a moment occurred. The man who owns this majestic property and who oversaw our entire expedition is Mr. Dave Verkamp, affectionately known to his grandchildren as Grampy. His son, Mr. Ryan Verkamp, a well-known wilderness guide in Alaska, is thoroughly familiar with these densely wooded hills and would serve as our guide on this day. Mr. Bobby Omasis would balance our team with his management and logistics skills. Bobby's son, Wilson, along with Ryan's children, Piper and Davis, would provide our team with the most important ingredients, passion, energy, and curiosity. As we made our way over the well-worn game trails, we encountered many wonderful marvels not seen by many other humans. Our first discovery was a rare natural bridge that literally took our breath away. We talked about the Indian people that once lived in these woods, the Osage, the Shawnee, the Missouri, all people with grandfathers, fathers, and children just like us. To them, the Verkamp Cave was called something much different, and to them, it was never lost. Get that sifter working, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> or are we setting up shop? <laughs> wow, what do you guys think? Thing. As we've come to find out, most caves' interior temperatures are the same year round. So visiting Indian hunters and their families were able to enjoy cool relief in the summer and a warm shelter in the winter. It was during these times they would explore just like us. I'm sure that many an Indian child would take a torch of fire and explore this steep cavern. Wilson, Piper, and Davis had the advantage of modern flashlights to light up the mysteries of this cave. Making arrowheads, or flint napping, as we call it today, was a favorite pastime for these people. They relied on their hunting skills to provide food for their families. So it's not a surprise, then, that the arrowheads and chips, some thousand years or more, can be found lost in the dirt in this cave's entrance. After exploring in the cave for a while, we took a break at the entrance to this cave Piper's foot suddenly sank in the ground, and Wilson decided that would be the best spot for us to excavate. After filling several buckets of dirt, Bobby demonstrated the screening technique. Wilson, Piper, and Davis all worked long and hard, and their efforts were soon rewarded. These arrowheads are so beautiful, they show a remarkable skill that the Indians needed to have. I'm fairly sure these ancient Indian artifacts will be treasures kept forever. All right, what else? What else? All right, here you go. Shake it. Shake her up good, Bobby. Another, Another one. No way. Wow, wow. that's another perfect one. Man, I can't man, believe it. Papers. Same kind of shape. That's so they take a rock, just like they did yours, and they yeah. break them off and hammer them and split them. How many you got, Wilson, well, the over there? The first one I got is the... Are those shells? We're going to shell them. Yeah. No. Let's find some more arrows. This one will be worse. Let's look a little work? closer here. Yeah, yeah, Let's take there. another peek. The baby. Wait a minute. Who found what? When? David found a little baby, baby, baby. Take it. Show Jean. Take it. And the third one. Oh, hand that one down, Wilson. Yeah, Wilson. How much will these two be? We're arrowheads up here. We'll have Indians from four counties. How many?
I'll get my swimsuit on. Yeah, that's what you'll do. No, I'm first gonna put a ah, giant spider. Another giant spider. Like all expeditions, ours had to come to an end as well. On the long hike out of the dense woods, we walked so closely to the bluff's steep walls. We talked about how the rocks were formed so many millions of years ago. By the time we finally climbed out of that deep ravine, we were all exhausted, but very happy, very satisfied. It was a grand opportunity to explore the lost Ver Camp cave, and we got to know each other just a little bit better during our discovery of history. I'm out of breath too. <laughs> Good job, Piper. You're doing it, girl. <laughs>